Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about Python strings. Strings in Python are surrounded by single quotation marks or double quotation marks. In this cell, we will define variable A and the content for this variable, hello, it's a string in double quotation or P in single quotation, between single quotation. And we will print the result, run, hello world a comma p and we can print the type for a display type and also the length of a we will run the cell the type class string and the length it's five it means contains five characters one two three four five starting with index zero <coughs> Strings are array. Strings in Python are arrays of bytes representing Unicode characters. We will run this cell a equal good morning, print a of index zero. And we will make for loop for i in a print i. We will run this cell. The index of zero, g here and for i in a it will print every character inside the single quotation good morning check string we can check the string by using keyword in a equal i like kiwi print kiwi in a what is the meaning by kiwi in a? It will check the a, the content of a. If it is contain kiwi, it will be true. If not contain kiwi, it will be false. Run. It's true. Kiwi here. A, I like kiwi. If kiwi in a, print kiwi is in a else print kiwi is not in a it's if statement kiwi is in a if we change it here or delete kiwi and rerun again kiwi is not in a multi-line strings you can use three quotes three double quotes or three single quotes for multi-line text three single quotation good morning and have a good day when we run it good morning and they have a good day two lines Slicing strings. We can select a range of characters in a string. Text equal hello world. Print text of. Here no number. It means it will start from the beginning of the text. Range to five, but not including five. It will print from zero to index 4 not index 5 5 it will not contain and brand text start from index 6 up to the end of the text it will start from index 6 we will run the cell here this is index 0 1 2 3 4 and the index Six to start from space. First print, it will print hello only. And the second print statement, it will start from six world. Six up to the end. Negative indexing. Text equal hello world. Print text minus five 
starting from minus 5 up to the end. No index here. Where is number 5? D minus 1, index minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. Minus 5 starting from here, W, to the end of the text, to here, world, from index minus 5 up to the end of the text. Another example. Print text minus 6 starting from minus 6 to minus 1, but not including minus 1, not in including the index minus 1. The minus 1 is D, and minus 6 starting here. It will print W O R L starting from index minus 6. W ending at index minus 1 but not including index minus 1. Upper case and lower case. We can using upper method and lower methods. We will see text good morning. It's lower case. If you want to change it to upper case, we can use text dot upper method. Run, change it to upper. And this text in upper case, and we change it to lower case. We will use text dot lower method to change it and run it. It's lower case. Remove white space using strip method. Here this text equal. There is some spaces here at the end and at the beginning. If we want to remove these spaces from the beginning and from the and at the end, we can use text dot strip method and we will print the text before removing the spaces and after removing the spaces. Here before removing the space. There is some spaces here too and here also. After strip, the spaces already removed and start from here. Replace string. We can replace a string with another uh, string by using a replace method. For example, text equal wood morning. And we want to replace G to W. Remove, remove, uh, remove W and replace G. We will use a replace method. Text dot replace W, change W and put it, put it G. It will be good morning. Split string. A split method returns a list where the text between the specified separators become to the list item. This text contain hi, comma, Jimmy. And we will use split to put it in a list. And we will run this cell and see the result. It became list. Hi and Jimmy. String concatenation. To concatenate two strings, you can use the plus operator. We have text one high and text two Jim, uh, Tim. Text three equal text one plus space plus text two and print text three. Hi Tim. Format string. You can combine strings and numbers by using the format method. This variable salary contains 1500. It's integer. And text my salary is rolly brackets print text dot format salary. 
it will put the value for salary here we will run it my salary is 1500 I'm using a Jupyter notebook if you haven't Python on your local computer you can use Google Colab and run Python code without install Python in your local computer and I will put video link how to use Google Colab in video description this everything you need to know to start with Python strings I will put the link for this Jupyter notebook in video description and you can download it and also I will put some important links and I hope it will be useful for you. Thanks for watching and I hope this video was useful for you. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and I hope to see you in next video.